Hi, my name's Nikki Hollander. Welcome to U Train. Okay, we're gonna start with the warm up, okay? So make sure you're going with a nice, easy pace. This is full squats, and this is the lovely Cassie that is performing it for us. If you see Cassie's form, how she goes to 90 degrees with her legs, that is important, okay? Because getting down to 90 degrees is gonna recruit all the muscles you need to, okay? Go at a pace that you can do for the 60 seconds, okay? Try not to go too slow and, burn, and, and not really engage your muscles and try not to go too fast and burn yourself out because after all, this is the warm up. Cassie's doing a great job. Her hands are coming forward to give her a little bit of counterbalance. You can do that too at home. Try and keep up with her pace. That's it, she's one of my favorite demonstrators because her form is exemplary. Her feet are straight forward. She gets her butt right down and she keeps a good pace. And I can see that she's she's hurting a little bit now, okay? She's feeling it. She's not going too fast though. Okay, now the next warm-up exercise is neutral undergrip roll, which is a really fancy way of saying pull-ups with your hands facing yourself. Okay, so I want you to make sure your neck is right back, keeping your spine in a neutral position. Go at a pace that you can do this for one minute, okay? This is not such an easy exercise, but if you pace yourself, you will be able to get to the end of that exercise, engaging the muscles and not blowing them up so you can't do anything else, okay? Notice that Cassie is not moving the lower part of her legs, okay? This is an upper body exercise. This is to warm up the shoulders. This is to get the back firing. This is to get you in the mood to working out. Try to keep at her pace because that's a good solid pace for a warm up. If you can, that's great. If you can't, slow it down a little bit. If this is a little bit difficult, you can shift your feet a little bit towards the bar, make it a little bit easier for yourself. If this is a little bit too easy, pull them back. Okay, the next warm-up exercise, and I hope you guys managed to keep pace there, or if not, keep it a strong enough pace that you felt it. The next warm-up exercise is warrior sit-up. Okay, so what's happening here, as Cassie's demonstrating is, you're going from a plank position, supine, which basically means on your back, tucking your knees in, grabbing them, and pulling your upper body off the floor. What is getting your upper body off the floor is your abs. Make sure you're engaging those. What is getting your knees to your chest is your abs. Make sure you're engaging those, because this is about warming up your abs. Now, Cassie's going at a decent pace as usual. Try to keep up with her. If you can smile like she's smiling, then that's a good thing. If you need to take a breath and breathe, then continue breathing throughout the exercise. You can put a mat underneath you if you're at home to make it a little bit easier on your back and the butt. Nice work, I hope you managed to keep up with that. Okay, you've got two minutes of our warm up left, two minutes of our warm up. You should be feeling a little warm by now, okay? So this would normally be performed with a bar, but right now we're in warm up, so we're doing it without a bar, she's getting down nice and low. So that's engaging her quads, that's enga engaging her glute, engaging her hamstrings. And when she reaches down, she's engaging her shoulders. And when she reaches up, again, she's engaging her shoulders, but also part of her back. Go at a speed that you can do without stressing yourself too much. Again, this is a warm up, I can't stress that enough. Try not to go too fast, but again, not too slow, because we have to engage those muscles. And Amanda, she's pretty fit girl, so she's going nice and strong speed. You have 10 seconds left, keep it going. Come too far to stop now, keep going. Well done, keep it going. Don't forget guys, we're doing a five minute warm up followed by a 10 minute exercise routine, so keep it going guys. This fifth warm up exercise is the neutral push up. Okay, neutral push up. Notice that Steve's hands are right in line with his shoulders, his back, is in a neutral position. This is the last warm-up exercise, so you can push it a little bit on the speed, make sure you tuck your elbows in, his elbows are not flaring out, he's tucking his elbows in. And after we've done this warm-up exercise, we're gonna get into a 10 minute upper body workout. Okay, so this is the last chance you have to wake your body up, get yourself ready to really sweat and do something good for the day. Keep that going, head nice and forward, you have 20 seconds left in this exercise. Keep going right to the end. Come on, keep it going. Breathing throughout, okay? If you breathe, you can get through this. If you hold your breath, this is gonna be hard. 
Don't forget guys, we're doing a five minute warm up followed by a 10 minute exercise routine. So keep it going guys. And we're now gonna go straight into our lower body workout. And now take your 15 seconds rest. You get that here, breathe. Nice work, you should be getting a little sweat on, you should be breathing a little heavier. That means you've got that warm up just right. Okay, well, look at Cassie now, she's got her feet shoulder width apart, arms come out for counterbalance, drop down into that squat. Her butt is coming down just below 90 degrees. And she's picking up that pace a little bit here, okay? This is quicker than the warm up. This is about getting yourself in shape. This is about sweating, this is about working out. Okay, if this is your level at a beginner, you should be sweating and this, by the time you get to the end of the 45 seconds, you should be feeling this, okay? If you're not feeling this, maybe you're more advanced than a beginner, but if you are, then you're a beginner and keep at this pace, looking to progress. Nice work out there, keep going. Try to keep it up with Cassie. You can see she's feeling it too. Keep it going right to the end. She's not stopping, don't stop either. Keep going all the way, push it to the end. Nice work everybody and rest, excellent. Okay, coming into short lunge. Okay, we've got Amanda here, he's gonna demonstrate short lunge for you. Catch your 15 seconds breath. Don't talk to your friend, catch your 15 seconds breath. Okay, you're gonna need it. Good, we're now getting into our workout, our lower body workout that's gonna tone and get yourself into great shape, waist down, nice work. Okay, so this is a short lunge. Notice that the difference between the short lunge and the regular lunge is her back leg is a lot closer to her front leg, that knee comes down right to the back of her heel. But again, the safety thing with a, with a lunge is always that front knee does not extend over your toes. And you should have switched sides there. Nice, keep that going. Arms straight down, sitting straight down, dropping that knee to the floor. This is for your butt. This is for your quad, okay? Really push now. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done, well done, guys. Okay, moving on to bottom squats. Okay, catch that 15 seconds breath, okay? This is your chance to get oxygen back into your body. So breathe, big breaths, at, big breaths in, quick breaths out. Okay, nice work. So difference, with di difference between squats and deep squats are, deep squats you drop down, butt goes right to the heels, and then you come up to 90 degrees. Okay, so you're staying nice and low. You are going to feel this on your quads, okay? Try to keep a nice pace, okay? Again, look at Cassie's feet. They're not coming up, coming out over her toe. She's keeping them back. That's the safety thing for your knees. Good, but drop that butt to the heels and back to 90 degrees. Nice work. Really try to keep the knees and the feet pointing straight. Keep it going all the way, 45 seconds, and we're nearly there, almost. Keep going. Nice work, all the way, keep it going. And rest, good job. Okay, coming into deadlift, hands to the sky. Again, catch your breath. Breathe with Amanda here. You can set yourself up, feet just over shoulder width apart. Engage the abs, engage everything. Good. It's a squat, 90 degrees, hands to the floor, hands above your head. Okay, so a deadlift, this is normally done with a weight. But right now, we are getting into a this is more of a functional movement. This is about you and your body weight, okay? You wanna go at a pace that is going to challenge you. Now, if you're a beginner, you should be going at a man's pace. This is the beginner's pace. Nice work, keep that going. At home, if you're feeling it, you're doing it right. Don't back off, keep it going. Don't be scared to push a little bit. This is the one chance you can do that, okay? In our lives, we're sitting behind a desk all the time. We don't get chance to do this. We're meant to do this. As mammals, we are supposed to work out. Nice work. Excellent, okay, coming on to full lunges. Coming on to full lunge. Okay, getting your 15 seconds breath. If you miss your 15 seconds breath, trust me, you're gonna feel it on the next exercise, so get your 15 seconds breath. Nice work, okay, full lunge. So you're coming in, a nice stride here. You are doing one on one side, and then you're alternating to the other side. Nice work, as you go down, make sure you drive your hands up to your face. It's almost like a, a curl as you step out. Nice work, again, you should feel this on the glute, you should feel this on the quad. Nice work at home, excellent. Get at that pace, keep it going. 
If you want to quit, ask yourself why you want to quit. There should be no quitting here. This is something you're doing that is important for yourself. This could be important to your family. Health is the one thing we take for granted. But you know what? Without your health, you have nothing. Nice work. Coming on to full squats. Get that break in. Get that breath in. Okay, this isn't time to eat a cookie. This is time to have a little water and catch your breath. Okay, we have five minutes left of this workout. Nice work. Coming into full squats. Nice work. Drop your butt down. Should be just below 90 degrees. Excellent. Arms come out. Counterbalance. We are over halfway. You are looking for the finish line now, okay? We are over five minutes into this workout. You should be feeling good, feeling great, looking for that finish. Nice work. 45 seconds. Keep it going. Come on, guys. We're nearly there. Keep that pace going. Drop that butt down. Nice work. Good. If your quads are burning, you're doing it right. You're not doing it wrong. Nice work. Keep, keep up with her. Keep up with Cassie. Nice work. She's going quite a clip. Nice, last few now, almost there. Excellent, well done. Okay, coming into short lunge. Remember, short lunge, knee to the ground, right by the back of the hill. Nice, okay. Now Amanda, she's got great form, watch her form. Foot goes back. Get yourself ready and drop down, good. When she drops down, notice Amanda keeps her upper body nice and tall, okay? You shouldn't be bending over your knee looking at the floor, you should be looking at the wall in front of you. Upper body nice and strong. Good. That means you're engaging your abs as well as working your lower body. Okay, that's two for one right there. Nice work. Keep it going. Hands straight down in front of you. Switch legs. Nice work. Knees. Knee back from the toe. Good. And back knee right to the heel. Excellent. If you're asking me where you should feel this, it's in the butt. Okay, you should be feeling your glute working. Nice work. Excellent. Keep that going, it's a strong contraction. And squeeze, good job, all the way, well done. Okay, bottom squats, okay? this For me, this is the hardest. Bottom squats are tough, okay? So catch your breath, shake your legs out if you have to. Get all that lactic acid, which is the, the old oxygen that you need to get out, out of your legs. Drop down, butt to heels, and to 90. Nice work, good. Now, if this is burning, and it can burn sometimes, you can, and it's, you can shake your legs out, okay? This is beginner, you can shake those legs out, but try to jump straight back into it. Nice work. If ever you have to break in any of these exercises, that's okay, catch your breath, jump back in when you can, okay? There's nothing wrong with taking, there's nothing wrong with taking an exercise to the point where you can't do any more, taking a rest and jumping back in, okay? Don't give up, keep it going to the end. Nice work, good. If you work, you can get to the level of Cassie, okay? If you're at the level of Cassie, get beyond Cassie. Nice work and rest. Okay, coming into deadlift, hands to sky. Okay, you should be feeling it now. We're coming to the end of this workout, this lower body workout. Things should be burning, okay? Quads should be burning. Glutes should be burning. Calf should be burning. Nice work. Okay, here we go, good. Nice 90 degree squat, hands to floor, hands to ceiling. Nice, you have two minutes left, okay? We have two minutes left of this workout. Okay, what are you gonna do for the next two minutes? You're gonna do this workout, or you're gonna go sit down and watch TV and get it all wrong, okay? This is about finishing something you start, okay? If you start something, go finish it. I don't care if you have to take breaks, but try to get to the end, okay? Let's get to the end of this workout. Keep going with Amanda. Keeping at her pace, good, keeping that rhythm. Just keep positive thoughts in your head. Think about why you're doing this, what it's giving you. You're almost there. Good, last few seconds. Keep up with her all the way and rest. Well done. Okay, coming into front lunge. This is the last exercise and it's full lunge. Nice work, okay, big breath. Last exercise, 45 seconds. Let's do it, come on, and out, good. Make sure you're alternating legs, keeping that rhythm going. Nice work. Good, you should be proud of yourself. You've done some great stuff. Your legs should be burning now. If your legs aren't burning, push it on this last exercise. And maybe when you do this again, push a little harder, okay? If you finish an exercise and you don't feel burning in your legs, then you're not pushing yourself far enough, okay? That burning feeling is your legs telling you you're really pushing them to the edge. Our bodies are 
are machines of adaptation, okay? If you push it to the end, your body will adapt and get stronger, get leaner, get in better shape, okay? So push it so your body has to adapt. Nice work, all the way and rest. Excellent job, guys. If you survive this U Train workout, come back tomorrow for more or subscribe now and check out Daily Dose with Jillian Michaels, where America's favorite trainer gives you a piece of her mind every day. These U Train workouts have been powered by Power Music.